Hi everybody, um, we are broadcasting live from uh, Taylor's Lodges at Villa Nova de Gaia. At this very moment, we are about to finalize our Vindima, the harvest, which, uh, by the way, has finalized this weekend at uh, our Quintas. And indeed, one can argue that the Douro, the port wine, is almost like a body with two legs, being the Douro region, where we have uh, all our vineyards up there in the valley, more than 100 kilometers far away from here. And the second leg is exactly Villa Nova de Gaia, the lodges where we are and where the, 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 the wine ages after the first winter at uh, uh, Douro. And actually, when we talk about the aging process, we do have a very special categories, the so-called age tonics. And they, those categories are very important not only because Taylor's is the market leader on 10, 20, 30 and 40 years, but also because it is a remarkable category. And actually, if we look into the, 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 the wood casks that we have in front of us, uh, actually, we, we hold in stock around 100, uh, 11,000 of these uh, wood casks. It's easy to, uh, to see that the wine is aging and it's, uh, uh, the wine is in close contact with the wood. Therefore, we have the so-called oxidation. Um, during the period of one year, almost 2% of this wine vanish. Uh, it's uh, the reason why we do have this wonderful perfume. It's, uh, it's a pity that you can't share this uh, perfume, uh, this magnificent, magnificent perfume, because it's the so-called angel's share. So two of the, uh, of, of the wine vanishes in thin air. And this allows the wine to get a more matured and indeed a, a very well-balanced wine. And it's uh, uh, quite interesting because if you look into these uh, uh, casks, you may wonder why, what is this uh, um, cross and these figures? And indeed, the cross uh, means uh, a pipe, 550 liters. The, on top of the cross, you will have the uh, almuj, which is 25 liters. So you have 550, ta two times 25, you'll have 600. And then canadas, which is uh, a measure very ancient measure of two liters. So six times uh, two, you'll have 12, hence 612 liters. It's indeed a very old measurement that we have uh, in, our, uh, in our lodges, in our casks. And it's funny because when we talk about old wines, uh, it's indeed remarkable to see all these uh, wines. And if you look into the 40 years old, and if you think that that particular wine that we have in that bottle um, was kept aside by the previous generation and aged for decades in the casks up until the moment that this bottle is to be enjoyed, it's absolutely amazing. And we have here the 20 years old. We look into this color of the wine this wonderful perfume, and it's uh, fantastic to see the complexity of the wine. And uh, in a way, one can say that, uh, one can argue that the, it's uh, the, the combination of uh, the skills, the capacity of the, the, of the man, of the enological team. But again, it's then the time that will fine-tune that will make sure that this is uh, the wine that we have the opportunity to, to, to enjoy and to drink. And if you drink it slightly chilled with dried fruits, you will have this um, beautiful um, combination. And again, um, in, in a way, you open a bottle of uh, one of these remarkable wines, being it the 10, the 20, the 30, or the 40 years old, and in a way you're drinking not just a, 
a fabulous wine, but indeed history itself. And if you look, if you think about everything that happened in the world in the last 20 years, whilst this wine was slipping up until the moment that we can enjoy it, it's um, indeed um, a remarkable uh, uh, opportunity that uh, we all have. So that's why uh, in this particular period um, that we are facing, um, it's always uh, good to have to enjoy the good things of life in a bottle of uh, port wine, particularly this one that I'm enjoying, which is the Taylor's 20 years. Cheers.